I feel it, Achievers. I feel it. Welcome back to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of March 14th. I'm one of your... <sighs> Can you say illustrious yet, Alex? I don't think so. Not yet. Anyways. But I'm a host nonetheless, Elijah Miller. Sitting across from me as always, Alex. How are you? Hello, everyone. I'm good. You know, gotta love technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we are loving technology here at the Achievers. Now, mm-hmm. for some reason, every now and then, you hit that kind of point where, like, tech just, like, just doesn't work for whatever reason that is, which is amazing. Um, mm-hmm. But if you look behind me, I have some boxes. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe that's boxing as in, like, a boxing match. Or maybe there's boxes for other reasons. But nonetheless, there's boxes behind me, and I'm very excited. Now, Alex, first off, we got some news. No, no, nothing crazy. This isn't one of those news weeks where we're expected to have like an hour and a half show or anything just talking about news. But we have news nonetheless. Before mm. we jump into all of that, first, I want to ask you a question. But before that, I want to then remind everyone that this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. You can come to us every single Friday sometimes where you can give us a like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> share all those things that helps us out we give you the news that we think you should know and we want you to come hang out with us you can go over to patreon.com if you want to give us support financially of course that is up to your due diligence if you'd like to do that you can go over there support us for only a dollar it gives you a bunch of stuff you can talk to us you get episodes early things like that um if you dm us you can use your patreon dm service you can get your question comment concern thought and or id on the show like Alex's taste in Doritos. We yeah, found out over the weekend what's f- Alex's favorite Doritos. Can you remember or remind everyone, Alex, please, what your favorite Dorito it was? It's the hopping jalapeno mm. one. Yes. We, of course, learned this from a Doritos tweet. I saw a tweet from Doritos and went, Alex has to get in on this. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. You, so you got to tell them what his favorite <laughs> <laughs> flavor was. No, they just got to send it to me. Of course. Now. Alex, mm. let's ask a question that I ask you every single week, please. Okay. What have you been playing? Hmm. What have I been playing? Yes, that's what I asked. <laughs> uh, jump, jump back into Apex a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little more Apex. I, I've. Mm-hmm. It's been a slow week. I mean, I, I know yeah. you finished up your Dark Souls playthrough. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've been jumping around. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got all the way. I played everything up to Dark Souls 3, and then I started playing because I realized I'd just be in there maybe like a couple years ago. It was like maybe three or four years ago, and, and I was starting New Game Plus, so continued it, stopped. I was like, I think my soul's feeling is dying down a little bit. I think I'm feeling better about myself. Right. So I, I stopped. Uh, I kept the save, just put it aside. Now I went to Control Ultimate Edition. And I'm playing through that to get them achievements. There you are. And I want to play the expansion, the Mm -hmm. Alan Wake expansion. Speaking of which, I am on that expansion right now. I have Mm -hmm. made it through basically where you can go and do the Ashtray Mage, which is like the best part of the game. Right Mm -hmm. before I do that, that's like right near the end of the game. I'd say the last third of the game. Definitely the last quarter probably. Mm -hmm. Right before I did that, I was like, you know what? I think I'm strong enough. Let me go do this Alan Wake expansion real quick over there i'm in midst of that i think i'm like halfway through mm, doesn't seem super meaty but i'm enjoying the lore Interesting. i'm enjoying okay. the lore so far I, I like where it's going i like the kind of in between with alan wake mechanics and control mechanics they seem to kind of marry mm-hmm. to those two games for this quick like in mm-hmm. like do you have, do you dlc have a uh no you don't, mm. but you okay. kind of have certain things that kind of do that. It's 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 gotcha. cool, I gotcha. and I don't want to spoil it, but it's not. Okay. Um, it's it's. I feel like it could have been cooler. Mm-hmm. Like it would have been dope if the service weapon turns into like a flashlight or something. But then mm-hmm. I'm sure that is way more work than what I'm making it sound like. <laughs> which is way more work than what they did. What they did, I I I assume is was way easier than what I'm putting up. So. I'm excited. I want to finish it just to see what happens and where it goes. Yep. 
uh that's all i've been playing more apex with you of course we play apex pretty regularly now not now mm-hmm. but you know pretty regular throughout the year we pick it up we jump back in for a good while mm-hmm, mm-hmm. halo we played some halo last night randomly oh my god like, just for fun that was awesome mm-hmm. um, we got our butts whooped randomly oh my god for a t- the t- we did a team slayer and we just got wrecked oh my god i was playing yeah. it like yeah, we're gonna teeth kicked and i was like okay yeah this is uh i, I need to stay in my lane team swat Team SWAT is, mm-hmm. is what I need to do. Team SWAT, I'll 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 challenge anyone in Team SWAT. But Team Slayer? Don't think so. Especially on Halo 4. Halo 4 is a whole different ge- ball game. Halo 4 is, is difficult for me cuz I'm just not used to the gameplay as much mm-hmm. as uh like for instance 3, 2 or even 1 uh mm-hmm. and yeah, Reach. Bring me to 3 and I'm good. 3 gar- on Guardian. Shoot. Mhm. Mm-hmm. That is a good one. That is a good one. Uh, that's all I've been playing, Alex. I'm pretty sure that's all you've been playing. So unless you have I something else, I'll move on. So I don't think I've been playing anything. I mm. want to, I want to play. God, what was it? Um, Dishonored. I wanted to. Play oh Dishonored yes. Too. Speaking of Dishonored, thank you for the segue, Alex. Um, you've, I'm sure you have heard, but, uh, if you have not, the Xbox acquisition of Bethesda has gone through, it says a hundred percent concrete now. So Xbox does now officially own Bethesda, i.e. Zenimax Studios, or whatever you want to call them. Um, they did a round table that if I'm being perfectly honest, I haven't watched yet. I have just like, read about the round table. Yes, exactly like that. Yeah, they had ha- helmets. Yeah. Aaron Greenberg and Phil Spencer had little helmets on. It was very cute. So Mer- Merlin was there too, man. Mm-hmm. Merlin was chilling. He didn't talk much, but he was there. He was there in spirit, okay. kind of that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, there was a round table. They 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 were just talking. They're like, oh, mm-hmm. we're doing this, doing that. They teased a summer event. Okay. That was a, that was like a thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. So there's so there's like a summer e3 Where time e3 i assume i assume like an e3 thing maybe um but they did announce that 20 games will be coming to game pass and i will now <gasps> go through them dishonored dishonored 2 doom doom 2 doom 64 doom 3 doom eternal fallout new vegas fallout 4 fallout 76 prey rage 2 elder scrolls 3 4 and 5 Elder Scrolls Online, Evil Within, Wolfenstein the New Order, Wolfenstein the Old Blood, Wolfenstein Young Blood, and of all those, they're all available through Cloud Play, but Morrowind, Oblivion, Elder Scrolls Online, and Fallout New Vegas. Mm. Mm. Now, that was a lot. I wonder because Elder Scrolls are so high in demand, like 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 specs wise. But is if they didn't mention Skyrim, so Skyrim's available through Cloud Play. Yes. So interesting. I assume it's a a, a code issue. I don't think it's a limitation mm-hmm. issue. I assume. Gotcha. I don't. I don't know. I assume New Vegas, Morrowind, Oblivion have some sort mm-hmm. of coding difference with it, with something that they have issues. With. Who knows? It, it's probably some sort of boring answer why it's not in there. Uh, mm-hmm. But Alex, what do you think? I mean, we've kind of been living in this xbox owning bethesda thing so i feel yeah. no different but do you have do, does it feel different to you at all that now it's fully done and i'll add, actually pin a second question to that is there something that you want out of this acquisition do you want like a sort of new ip out of this or do you just want an, I, another elder scrolls <laughs> like what, what what did what are you excited for out of this i don't mind it but i kind of want to Bethesda be like, yeah, the our new IP is only going to be Xbox exclusive, just so PlayStation would get all uppity mm. about it. So you just so want to say, stir chaos? Is that what is that what you want? That sounds like that's what you want. Look, at this point, I'm bored. Mm. I want something to happen. <laughs> well, you see, we're in that interesting. He actually Everybody came out too, playing it too safe. Well, see, I think uh, I think they actually brought this up. I don't think I knew. I know they brought this up during the rant table. It's actually it was technically illegal for them to discuss what was going to happen with um, Bethesda games before mm-hmm. they bought them. So that's why we mm-hmm. haven't gotten a concrete answer. Apparently, it's some sort of law that it's illegal during an acquisition to discuss what's happening. I'm I'm not gonna touch that with a ten foot pole. I don't know, but that is what he said. So now we are probably going to start getting things. All we did get was the mention of if if a, if a game 
how, how do you word this? He, he It was so vague. So I was like, okay, you kind of confirmed it, I guess. But he said, where Game Pass is, all games will be on there. Uh, to mm. some Something to that. I, I butchered that a little bit. But he basically said, all these games in some way sh- will be exclusive to Game Pass. So if it, Interesting. So it goes... It, it was a very weird, very Phil Spencer way of saying it. Mm-hmm. But... I guess now they're exclusives for sure, which I that makes me wrong. If you remember, my original sentiment was they'll be exclusive. Then I walked it back and was like, I think actually what they'll do is release on PlayStation, mm-hmm. charge you seventy dollars for it, and then on Xbox go fifteen bucks. I think I was the one who said I think they're gonna be exclusive. I'm pretty sure you did. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Be like but... I remember Elder Scrolls Six, and I was like exclusive. Oh, dude! If that do you really think that's? I, it's just so weird. Do you think that's gonna be exclusive still? It's either it's either that game or uh, what Starfield. Was that? Thank you, Starfield. One of those mm. two are gonna be exclusive to Xbox. I know for a fact. One of those two, I could see that. I have. It has to be. I could see Starfield being exclusive. If the Elder Scrolls game is exclusive, it's that's nuts. wild. But it, buy an Xbox and you can play it. Same as like I, you know God I, of War I, and things like I that. I feel like yeah, that's why I say I feel like they're gonna do it on purpose so people would buy an Xbox Game Pass for it, like people did PS4 with God of War. I'm glad you. Spider-Man. I'm glad you corrected my sentiment there because I did say buy an Xbox. That's that's not it's untrue. Get Game Pass. Get it's Game not. Pass, it's yeah. not. It's not buy an Xbox. I always forget that. I keep saying. Yeah, because you can buy get Game Xbox. Pass on the computer. You get it. You just they want you to get Game Pass. They don't I care if you buy the system now. Do you get the PC? You get the system. Cloud gaming is becoming more and more reliable. So mm-hmm. as that becomes more reliable, they're going to want you to keep moving to that service. So mm-hmm. I think you're I think you're right there. And thank you again for that correction because I keep forgetting. Yeah, they just want you on Game Pass. They don't care if you're buying the system. Of course, yeah. they want you to because that's money for them. Also, like- let's not forget when you buy a PC, you're giving Microsoft a lot of money. So. I feel like what they're gonna they'll be like, oh yeah, you don't have to buy the system, just buy it. You know, if you have a PC or if you have a phone that has Game Pass, you can play cloud. And if people be like, oh, I really like playing this, then they're more incentive to buy an Xbox to make it run better. It'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, well, or then PC. I get more on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I definitely agree with that. That that's a that's like a like a light bulb moment for me where I'm like, oh, that makes much more sense what they're trying to do here where, <laughs> where they just want you like, hey, sign up for the service. Make it Netflix mm-hmm. and then you're going to forget about it and we'll get your money every month. They're looking mm-hmm. they're looking for like longevity rather than a big purchase at once. They want your money every month. Yep. That's about it. Um, there was a, I wouldn't say a slip up, but someone did say that worked at Xbox. He was the director of program. His uh, name is Jason Ronald. Quickly Uh-oh. mentioned and and, and I I don't want to get too hyped about this because he would we have no contents. But he did mention that there is an unannounced games coming in 2021 for Xbox. Mm. I didn't I didn't want to bring it up as a full on news story, <clears throat> uh, because it's kind of just an offhand comp. I mean, it could be anything like 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 it could be like something like Battletoads, where it's just this random arcade game or something, mm-hmm. or it could be as crazy as like a game like Disavowed or something. I don't think so, but I think. It was worth mentioning on the show. Alex Burnett? Yeah. Go ahead. I think um, I was thinking what he means by that. I feel like that's probably they're waiting for announcements for around E3 time. So there's like a brand new announcements at E3 and be like, oh, it's available this holiday. Yeah, I could see that. I, I just couldn't. I can't think of. a. I mean, what's a studio? That hasn't released in a while. That could. Oh my god! So my I mean, my my thing wasn't that I'm surprised I mean, about the game. I was like, what studio is working on it? I that mean, was my confusion. Yeah. Uh, does, does it mean unannounced? Like we they haven't said anything. Yeah, they haven't said anything this yeah. year. Okay, because yeah. last year they talked about the Forza game, but we haven't heard about it since that first initial release. Mm, that's true. He it. could he could mean that. It, it, that's that's a good point. Because like, uh, we the haven't quote... heard anything about Gotham Knights and Forza since that time, and I mean, like, I think, I'm not saying Gotham Knights will happen this year. I of feel course, like Forza would happen this year, to be honest. Hold the on, new me... one, I feel like it'll happen this holiday. So let me go. Let me give you the, his exact quote. So, um, they were asked, like, you know, what games are you looking forward to this year? And he replied, "Quote: Not all games 
that are releasing this year have been announced, end quote. Mm-hmm. So they in haven't gotten a release date. So <laughs> in theory, mm-hmm. he's not technically speaking about Xbox Game Studios. So I feel like this is a very vague. He, I mean, he could mm-hmm. be talking about Psychonauts two. He could be yeah. talking. I mean, uh, he couldn't be talking about Halo Infinite because we know that for sure. But but like, we know, yeah, we know that's coming out this year. Yeah. So I can't I can't think of what he could mean. I have no idea. I mean, that kind of I mean honestly makes me pretty excited. To be honest, because mm-hmm. I have no idea what the man means by that. <laughs> scale bound. Oh God, we're bringing it back. Scale bound. You ever you want to be the dragon man? Here you go. You listen to and music. My my most important part about that was it looked like the f- combat was fun and you get to listen to music mm-hmm. while you play it. Which like, why mm-hmm. isn't that more of a thing in games? I have a feeling that game ha- uh, had issues. Maybe music right copyrights. No, I think I think uh, uh-huh. pl- I think pl- uh, I think with the writing was on the wall. Platinum was not coming through with Scalebound. They looked at it. They mm-hmm. were just not happy and they just cut it off. I think that's why. I don't think any, um, anything like that happened. I just it sucks because I I remember, remember there was that rumor where uh, and Nintendo was gonna take over that IP or something. Yeah, there was a rumor that they got the uh yeah they got the IP for it for mm-hmm. however reason I think from Platinum or whatever. But I don't think they're reworking the game. Mm-hmm. I, Maybe they're trying to make it more anime-ish. <laughs> Maybe, but I think that game's dead. And if it ever comes back, it'll be something else. Like it won't be Scalebound. Yeah. It'll be like some other thing and then we'll dragon let... rock <laughs> I don't know. yes dragon rock i like that um yeah, the, the dragons and this rock i i, I, I get i had to okay so so people. no no i didn't think about that <laughs> so <laughs> dragons and rock and roll i get it now move moving on for for <laughs> dear gods so we uh, i would say uh, we haven't gotten a lot of news but a couple big news stories so there's a nintendo plan for a switch model with a bigger samsung oled display you know Um, this was a report from bloomberg um and apparently they got a uh uh, people familiar with the actual plan they went to samsung to start uh, manufacturing seven inch 720p resolution oled panels as early as june with the initial target um of like a million or so units i don't remember but that's pretty wild. So we're basically confirming that this is going to be um, a more premium system that will come out. My and they basically though, alluded that it's going to support 4K when it's hooked up to a okay. TV. Okay, because my thing was, it will, it, I'm assuming you're going to need a different, I mean, it's going to have to have a different dock. Because um, I was going to say, if it, I, to me, it makes me remember, like like the Vita, the Vita had the normal one, and then they had the OLED, but it was the same resolution, so nothing changed. It was just like it's a little cleaner because of the OLED. Like I hope that they, it's not like I hope that's not the case. I hope there's much more of a difference than just the the uh, the uh, the screen being a little clearer. Yeah, like, I see I was what you're saying. Seven twenty p resolution OLED. I I was hoping maybe like nine the nine whatever the nine hundred one is, the, like in between ten eighty and seven twenty. Mm-hmm. I see what you're saying for sure. I think it's a little I, better. Mm-hmm. I I think um I think we are uh, assuming that it is going to be 4K because I think that's all just an- analysts are saying. So I'm just mm-hmm. I hope it is actually a 4K resolution when hooked up watch to a it, TV. Watch it not be. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, um, mm-hmm. to be honest. But it's it's I think it's a good idea. I, th- I think we're we need a Switch Pro. If you looked mm-hmm. at the um <laughs> when they announced uh, Pokemon Legends. Uh, when you look at that trailer, the tra- mm-hmm. the trailer the itself is itching, like 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 the the, the frames oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah. The, it's, the it's actual tra- it's struggling. Yeah, it's struggling. So I think they are keeping expectations low, and then are going to try and blow it out with the new switch and be like, "Look at it on the new switch; it looks great." Mm-hmm. I think that's what they're going to do. I mean, it's been four years now since the switch has been out, and there hasn't been another model. That's surprising. Get a wild Rebecca in the background there. Um, yeah, but... I, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that and I thought that was my screen, and I was like, I was so <laughs> "No, Alex, that was not your screen. That that was mine." <laughs> yeah, was so it's oh, like a horror movie. You're like, I mean, "Is it behind me?" I have a bookshelf too, so I was just I saw the bookshelf, and I thought it was my wife, and I was like, "I love that you got." I love that you're just like. 
<laughs> it's just like, terrified for looking behind you. Yeah, is this it? Is this how I go? At least it's on Get camera. Captured. Yeah, at least it's on camera. It. You'll get so many views, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> all right finally make the big book. yeah that's how we finally make it your murderer on screen moving <laughs> moving on speaking of new hardware vive announced a facial tracker for their oh vr yeah so this device is capable of tracking up to 38 facial movements and matches lip movements with voice with quote almost zero latency i didn't bring up too much of the story because we're not huge into the Alex was demonstrating some of those movements right there. Thank you, Alex <laughs> <laughs> for the audience. Please go to YouTube and watch that for the love of God. Uh, but yeah, so 38 facial movements and it matches lip movements. So I'm assuming we're going to get more and more, uh, social, right? You would assume that's like, imagine like the game's like making, <laughs> make a sad face now to progress through this level so hopefully well, it's just it's like either, social right i feel like it's either it's either more social or more just more of an immersive experience because if you're playing the game and you see somebody talking in front of you like that's animated you see their lips just go just regular mm. so but if you actually see them verbally talk then you're like okay this feels more alive i see what you're saying yeah i see what you're saying i like i like that idea um but the facial tractor is cool. So if you know what the V vibe looks like, it's that kind of like black square on your face. And it's like almost like a little mirror. I would, I would look this up if you can. Um, just vibe tracker. It's like a little almost mirror that's just mapping your mouth. And it's just looking at your mouth the whole time. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. and a, whole, a whole new meaning to what that mouth do. Um, now, really, yeah. <laughs> really quickly, uh, Square Enix did announce a Nintendo Direct esque kind of digital showcase. I guess it w uh, shout out to Nintendo Directs because they they now are like uh, like Kleenex or um, Band Aids. Like no one can have a digital showcase without being called a Nintendo Direct. So they own they own this. Uh, mm -hmm. It's good. It's called the Square Enix Presents, like they did at E three, and you know those those few times they did that. Square Enix presents, and they're actually going to reveal the next Life is Strange game, which is very cool. Uh, a couple other things that they're going to announce: Outriders, more stuff on that. Balin Wonder World. Uh, quote: The ongoing celebration for the 25th anniversary of Tomb Raider. And <laughs> oh, I guess that's I guess that's the 25th anniversary now. I thought the 25th anniversary came out years ago. Was that the 20th? Was oh, that, maybe. Was that it? Uh, I think I think I know what you're talking about. Cause I'm picturing that blue case with that mm -hmm. an 20th anniversary logo. I think that was the 20th. Maybe look that up to make sure I'm not wrong. Um, and just a no, side, yeah, it was. It was the 20th. Okay, and just oh, yeah. just a sidebar on that 25th anniversary. There was a uh, a rumor yeah. that they're working on remaking the Tomb Raider games. That Square Enix is because mm. uh, they it came out that they were they were contracting studios outside of their own to remake some games. Obviously you can't really go crazy, right? Probably not Chrono Trigger or anything like that. This makes sense that they're doing this ongoing celebration or whatever that we, uh, for the 25th anniversary. I think this is going to announce, Hey, Tomb Raider. I don't even remember what they were called. One, two, three, whatever they were. The first like three or four are being remade maybe. And they're, mm -hmm. um, gonna be like in a new resolution because you know they i mean she looked like blocks back then so maybe they're gonna make her look mm -hmm. like an actual person and re-release them again um so i'm excited and then, for that and, we'll, and, and then we'll get it in five years for the 30th anniversary <laughs> the next three games are gonna get that and then uh mm -hmm. more more games marvel avengers is gonna get a spotlight just cause mobile all right quote new mobile game announcements from the award-winning square enix montreal studio and quote quote a look at a few <laughs> sorry i i quote a look at a few of the whimsical games from square enix sister company taito and quote don't know why whimsical really cracked me there but for some reason that is a funny word just at, at typing whimsical next to your game like it, it's such a whimsical game from square enix do you, do sister you think company. we're gonna get another go game like hitman go tomb raider go whatever we should um because i'm pretty sure Mo the montreal studios made those right i think you're correct in that sentiment alex pretty sure they did 
Um, cause I, I feel like I remember their studio logo when I started the game. I, I hope we get more go games. I hate that they stopped doing those. They were amazing. I, I hate autocorrect. I hit, I try to do Hitman go and then it, it auto type the, the thing for me. Game of the year edition. I'm like, <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's not even close to what we want yeah it's free next montreal yeah okay so i would i would love a new go game and alex go i'll I'll, i'm gonna go ahead and put it on here you're on fire this 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 achievers Mm -hmm. gaming podcast you're on fire all right Mm -hmm. keep it up um but i want to talk about this life is strange game real quick Uh, what do you think are we getting a whole new story we going back to chloe we going no no we're not going back to two those kids. I don't know. I never, I never even got to play the game because it just like it took so long. I finished it. Even like, was it good? Is it is it worth me playing? I loved one. Mm, those I are two different Before questions. So okay. is First it question? Is it good? Is it is is it good? Yes, it is good. Yes, it is good. I would say it's close to great, but doesn't quite make it. So does second make question it worth playing so second question for alex that is asking me this question should you play this game i would say yes but if the okay. if you play episode two mm-hmm. and it does not keep you then no okay but i think when i when i finished the game i was like yeah yeah i think alex should play this but okay. if you're not hooked by two just it just leave it. I I think it has really cool twists and turns. The ending was eh, and cool, but s- sad. Yeah. I don't know. It left me unfulfilled a little. Um, was this game better than Before the Storm? No, but I'm a sucker for Chloe and Rich. Okay, because like, I like I'm, yeah, I'm a sucker. I for love them. those stories. I'm too. I, I'm way too close to them to to be unbiased. Okay. But I don't think so. But literally, you put Chloe in like, like a chess game. Like I'm playing, like mm-hmm. best chess game and ever. Matt, you so can like, get Chloe and Max. Yeah. Like I just, I, what I want is Chloe and Max like game. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. Now my weird theory, <laughs> stick with me, Alex, mm-hmm. is they maybe make a third one. It's a new IP. It's a new set of brother, sister, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. And eventually they hit a point where like they have like an Avengers team and they have to go fight something. So like every, each character from each episode eventually is gonna have to meet up at one point and like do something. Mm. So like maybe I'm projecting, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> which I think I, I am. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I mean, I've always thought about it too. I was hoping like the games would like have cameos of the past games. So like the new when I, two came out, I was hoping that Chloe or Max or somebody would like hint in or would they pass by the town that there was there do, do you want me to spoil something go ahead spoilers uh, for life slight is these are slight these are slight spoilers there there are big th- references twice to chloe and max interesting and they yeah. use your save file from the first game to determine what they show you interesting yeah very cool what, what episode is this episode four so i mean you gotta you gotta go through it to see it but it it is cool and you probably won't even realize who that character is until they tell you which is kind of cool too because like you're gonna go like do i recognize this person who is this and then it happens and you go it's it's you and then is it the is it the blonde mother no no is it the photographer the pervert it's after the events of the first game. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll play it eventually. I'm. I don't know. I'm interested. No, you won't. I want a good. I want a good story, and I'm just like I. I enjoyed the first episode. I'll I really say it's enjoyed. quick. Like you, it's not like a game where you like slog through. Like I mean, you're getting through these quick. They're about two and a half to three hours each. So I mean, it's not oh. like you'll like you could beat this really in a day. You've already played the first one, so. Mm-hmm. So I mean, okay. two two times four, eight. Eight hours more, and you beat the game. I mean, I can, yeah, I can beat I can beat that in a day. Yeah, really quick. I'm, I'm gonna speed through these. Um, uh, coming soon on Game Pass, uh, NBA 2K21. It's already on there, I'm pretty sure. Star Wars Squadrons, NHL 21, Madden 21. I know that for sure is on there. Football Manager yeah, 2021. Speaking of Madden 21, 
So Elijah and I do this thing <laughs> where every time the game comes on Game Pass or EA Play at the time, yeah. we're like, hey, you want to do our yearly match? You'd be like, all right, let's do it. Yeah, every year we do like a fun like match together. So we just do, yeah, because we're I, I, it's at least me. I'm not a big sports. Is he dead? I think he's dead. He left us, ladies and gentlemen. What he was gonna uh, tell you is every year we do the like Madden match, right? And then we do a he'll come back eventually by the way don't worry um and we do this match where we sit down and we just play madden right oh he's back oh hey, yeah there, I, there you I, go. I was talking to myself <laughs> no you can finish your story you cut out at, at like we do the yearly match madden 21 okay i was just yeah, filling no, in like and anyway, we know we started we do the like almost one maybe two matches uh but go mm-hmm. ahead yeah no in the middle of like starting it we're over here we're like okay we got to pass in a run then and then the interceptions start. Then the interceptions sure do start. Yes. The we literally had like seven interceptions, not total, per person. per person. Yeah, seven each. Anytime I tried We're to terrible. throw it, my guy would miss it, and then his character would catch it. I'm like, all right, back to f- back to first down for him. All right, cool. All right, he runs. He throws it. Throw. He runs it or fumbles it. I grabbed it. Now it's back to me. I'm like, what is happening? That was uh, one of the wildest things I've ever done in my life. Like watching the, like once you, once you get three interceptions, you're like, wow, this game's crazy. Once you hit the seventh, it's just madness and it's a circus at that point. Now Dude. I will now preference that me and I, nor Alex are anywhere close to being good at these games. These oh, are just God, no. fun. I I know plays in the most casual, basic of sense. Alex, I'm pretty sure just smashes a button and see what happens. So, I, so I look at the I look at the the bubbles and the colors and see what looks more mm, like more defensive, and mm-hmm. then I hit that. Yeah. So I mean, we're we're definitely not like savants here d- talking like like we're just ca- we're pretty casual with this, but mm. that was hilarious that that happened. Oh my god, yeah, it was funny because I was the first two quarters, I was doing good. I was like, I was getting 20, mad at me. I think I was at twenty four. And I made were, uh, in the first quarter. I had six we points at, in the first yeah. in the first uh, quarter, and in the second quarter, I had zero points. So I was going into mm-hmm. the third quarter with six points. You had, I think, 24, twenty I think. twenty four, twenty seven, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then the more interceptions started, and then that's where I had no points for the rest of the game. <laughs> and you had. Six 80 something <laughs> I, yeah it was like 74 or something like that i, I couldn't yeah. get it to 80 i think i missed it just by a hair i think i hit yeah, 78 i was like oh my god it was, was nonsense it was nonsense. it was nonsense it was nonsense and it was it was very fun though then we played another match and it was even crazier than that <laughs> like they were like i think that was like when it became like all right this is this is like something's wrong <laughs> like so okay. like i feel like something is wrong here mm-hmm. we're like okay we'll see you we'll see you again madden in 2022 2022 Goodbye. we'll see you next time mm-hmm. <laughs> all right all right we have a, a couple things to, to wrap up here really quick i wanted to bring up um halo uh I, who 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 was talking uh developer 343 industries it, it was just a fan q a oh it was um troy meshburn the gameplay director uh, he they asked like a quick Q and A with Halo Infinite, and he really uh, quickly said you can knock people off in a match off the Halo ring apparently, which what? is kind of cool, which is pretty cool. Interesting. Um, yeah. So there's a Zeta Halo setting, whatever the hell that means. Um, and then uh, you he also noticed some things that aren't going to be in this game. So apparently Halo Infinite won't have dual wielding or playable elites. Wait playable at least like you can't be a covenant at all yeah that's what it says that's what the gameplay director said so we're um just uh double checking here i want to see if i can get his full quote here uh this is by the way from ign this the this q a thing that's Um, kind of upsetting however well brings a lot some older ones won't be making sense cool that's not on the cards right now um, when mentioning dual wielding whenever you set out to make a game the size of halo infinite there's just so many things you could do I think we have a very talented team where we can do anything, but we can't do everything. So we wanted to really focus on gunplay, grenades, melee, where we wanted to put that bet. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, that was uh, that was really funny. <laughs> and where we wanted to put that bet this time was that bringing equipment back. End quote. Um, the, the, yeah, and then mentioning elites. Quote similar to the last answer. No, we are currently planning on. We are we are not currently planning on supporting elites as playable characters and the reason that this is a master chief story and a spartan story especially in multiplayer we want to make sure that we focus on how spartans battle against each other and that it feels fair and it's competitive it's balanced we love elites never say never maybe we'll see that one day but right now the current plan is you're going to play spartans end quote so So, definitely finding brutes and greg right right so what he means is in multiplayer now i really quick I get it because the balance with elites and Spartans is weird. Yeah. Because the the models are different. You can be um, the elite might have a smaller head or whatever. You know what whatever thing. So it to me makes sense. Don't love it. At the end of the day, don't really care. Be honest. I never play as an elite anyways. Sorry if you do. I feel for you, but just be a Spartan. I yeah I didn't care for that one. I do care a little bit about the dual wielding. Yeah, I do too a little bit just because it's cool. I like dual wielding mm-hmm. some machine guns in three, but I could do the plasma pistol on one side and mm-hmm. then just wreck somebody with the with the other gun and then the mm-hmm. SMG. Yeah, so, so I get it, but yeah, I don't really. I'm not yeah, I not mean really. I'm sure the game will still be fun. Yeah, the game will still be good. So I'm yeah, not it's... too worried. Like like reading that news, I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm surely there's infinite amount of you know, fun. I see what you did there. Good job. <laughs> Alex, on that note, we're near the end of the show, so I want to remind everyone that you can are sitting on the Easy Tubers Gaming Podcast. You are chilling with us. You're sitting right here. Hold on. Eh. Eh. You're sitting right here. So thank so if you're if you're on YouTube, I uh uh you can see me, but if you're on a podcast, you can't. So you're sitting next to me in my little frame here, so I'm talking to you. You can you can mm-hmm. th- first off, thank you for coming here, Invisible Man. Second off here, I'll be on your other side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, wrong side. Yeah, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> I forgot I'm married. I'm yeah, saying. yeah, you're married. So, so you can head over to, of course, uh, YouTube.com or the podcast service that you use. You can leave a like, comment, or subscribe. That helps us a lot. You can also leave a five star review. Only leave a five star review though. If you do anything less, we come after you. Second. If you want to uh, provide us financially and make sure we get this keep going, also we need to get Alex's computer because it's terrible and it really r- ruins records, you can head over to pi- uh, po- mm-hmm. <laughs> podcast, patreon.com slash easyachievers. It gives only a dollar, only one dollar. It gives you a bunch of tears. That gives you the access to DM us. That gives you the access to post on our little messages we put out. You get podcasts early. You get um, You don't get podcasts early. Sorry, that's only on the $5 tier. You get everything else that I mentioned there. You get to DM us, question, comments, start thought, NRT, and you get to be on the show. You can tweet at us, of course, free if you'd like, and we'll yell at you for free. So if you want to be a freeloader, we get it, because don't worry. We are too. Now, back to the show. This is the end of the show, so we like to wind down a little bit, kind of mellow out, relax, and we like to think of what's going on ahead of us. What do we think that's going to happen over the weekend? And I always... Ask Alex one specific question that can only be asked about them. Alex, hmm. what are you going to play? So, funny thing, I've been really wanting to play Star Wars: Old Republic on my on my computer. Me too. My my computer's a Mac, so I can't, and it's upsetting. I tried doing when I tried doing the boot camp Windows thing for people who know what that is. It's not working for me. I it's I I, I said screw it. Anyway. I, so I went to my Steam and I started scrolling through my games just because mm. I was like, I, I, I don't know why, but I want to he use doesn't know why for something. I don't know why, but I want to be in the mood to be able to just play on my computer. I, I, I get this urge every once in a while because I'm just, I used to be a big computer player. Like I played Quake. I played all the big fan of Quake. He was, computer. he was a big fan of Quake. Like I love playing on my computer at the, at the time. So I'm getting that urge again. Now I started a game again today and don't laugh at me oh jeez the lord of the rings online where it's, am i what year is it <laughs> 2007 <laughs> like what so correct me if i'm wrong hmm. this is the mmo game that came out like a super yeah. long time ago yeah yeah the online, online mmo i don't want to be mean those servers are still on 
Dude, it's dude, it's still po it's still popular. It still gets a lot of stuff. All right. All right. Like, more power to you. I was playing it, and my computer could run it. So I was like, all right, cool. So okay. mine can. Yours definitely can. Come play with me. <sighs> but Star Wars. I'd rather play I, that. If I'm I, getting on this computer, so it's going to be for Star Wars. I So do I, but I can't. Well, maybe if I upgrade this computer, you can have this one. <gasps> I'm excited. I just need to find a thousand dollars on the ground, and that'd be super easy, right? I mean, I mean, Patreon.com slash easy achievers. <laughs> I, mean, what's, I mean, what's up with these stimulus checks? Oh Jesus, yeah. That, I mean, for, oh God, don't get me started with stimulus checks. So glad they're going out there, but th this is the third one over this. Oh, and, oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get to it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for letting us in your home for a little while, and you know, letting us into your ears. We like that, and we love you. Um, please focus on driving, though. You've been kind of messing up a little bit so like you know too yeah i heard i heard that honk from someone that yeah remember i don't think it's two and ten anymore isn't it like uh 11 and two or something like that you're supposed to be closer to the wheel i think so your thumbs don't break uh, it's not important oh, thank mine's, mine's mine's one on 12 and one on the window <laughs> alex is a low right he's he's driving a low rider <laughs> yeah there you go yes yes I will be playing some more Apex over the weekend. I will be jumping yep. back into Destiny, maybe. I don't know. I will be finishing Control. I will be yep. chilling with the homesies in the dizzies. So thank you so much for joining us. You have a wonderful rest of your week. We will see you back same time next week. Wink, wink. Goodbye. And remember... This was only for YouTube people, go Chief. <laughs>